In this video, I'm going to give you an update on the Notion Content WordPress plugin, a simple plugin that I created to display Notion content on a WordPress site. My name is Patrick, and this is Everyday Tech, everyday tech for everyday people. Now, if you're new to Notion, go ahead and check out my video on getting started with Notion. Now, this is a continuation of a previous video that I did concerning this plugin and using the Notion API. Now check out that video to do all the setup of everything you need to do to get started. But in this video, I'm going to give you an update on what I've been doing since. Now, most of the updates I've made are mostly on cleaning up code and a lot of the background processes. Now I'm happy to say that as of the release of this video, I'm making it available on GitHub first. And then after I do some more updates, I'm going to hopefully make it available on the WordPress directory. So let's get into some of the updates I've done with this plugin. So just as a recap of what this plugin does, this plugin takes your content from Notion using the Notion API and lets you display it on your WordPress site. Now it does this by using WordPress shortcodes. So you can copy and paste these shortcodes here and go to the editor, go to a page, and in the block editor or Gutenberg editor, you can just copy and paste that short code in there and it'll display on your WordPress site here. Let me give you a quick update on the updates I've made to the plugin itself. Not much has changed on the front end or the output. Uh, Notion hasn't really updated their plugin to support more design blocks. So you still have your basic ones such as paragraphs, headings, bullet lists, numbered lists, and eventually I will support to-do list and maybe toggle list, but things like dividers and images are still not supported in the API here. But as soon as Notion updates their API to support more blocks, then I'll update my plugin to support those blocks as well. So most of the changes I've made to the site have been more in the back end, in particular, refreshing content. Now in my previous version of this plugin, if you made any changes to the Notion document, it wouldn't automatically show up in WordPress. You would have to go, have to go into the admin and click on refresh content. It's kind of the, the reason for this is it's the way the plugin was made. What happens is when you hit refresh content or when you first insert content in here, it makes a call to Notion using the API, grabs the data and inserts it into your local WordPress site database. Now there's reasons, speed reasons for that, performance reasons I mean for that, but uh, I have it now set to a five minute interval and you can change the interval of how much it refreshes. But going back to this site, it's been over five minutes since I've made a change to this particular document. So if I hit refresh, you should see some changes. And here are some changes showing right there. So let's go into how to set up that interval here. And we're going to the setup and I'm not going to show you how to set up an API key or your notion content database. Please refer to my previous video on that. But here I added a new section called the refresh interval and I can, I've had to set it to five minutes, but you can set it to anything longer. And the reason why you want to set it to something longer or even not automatically refresh at all is for, for performance. Anytime you have to make a call, to an API or to some service outside your own website that puts that much of a delay in there. So what's, ha what's happening is it's grabbing the data from the cloud, using the API and bringing it into your site. And so that sometimes takes some time. And sometimes you're working on a Notion document and you just are just kind of working on it, but you're not finished yet or you're not finished with the updates. So maybe you want to wait until you're completely finished before that content is updated on your work, WordPress site. So then you would set it to no automatic refresh. The last minor update I'll show you is this matter of previewing the content. Now, previously you couldn't do this, but if you hit view content, you'll be able to see the content that's coming from Notion and how it's being displayed. And then you can decide whether to put that in your page using these short codes here. As far as updates are concerned with the plugin, the first major thing I'm gonna do is update the description and documentation. Since now I have this code available uh, for everyone to use, I need to update that documentation. And especially when I'm eventually gonna submit it for approval into the WordPress plugin directory. So hopefully it'll be readily available to the public. 
Now, the other thing that I will update is the admin interface here. It's a little bit uh, kind of plain and kind of streamlined some of the processes as well. Now, as far as other updates are concerned, now that has to do with how often the Notion API is updated as well. Now, there are elements that are supported by the API that I still need to include into this plugin, but as Notion updates their API and supports more block uh, elements, then I'll update my plugin as well. Thanks for joining me on this update video. Again, the code is available now on GitHub, link in the description below. But as I make those changes and updates that I outlined in my hands-on here, I will try to make it available on the WordPress plugin directory. Now, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment below. But again, I am limited by the Notion API and the features they offer. They are still in beta, but as they update, I will try to update my plugin itself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.